meatloaf is a classic dinner food that's graced dinner tables for generations. There's been a meatloaf recipe in all of the editions of the Betty Crocker cookbook, starting with the first edition in 1950. Hi, I'm Kristen from the Betty Crocker Kitchens, and I'll show you how to make meatloaf that's moist and flavorful. I'm using 80% lean ground beef, but you can use a leaner beef if you like. Break up your beef in a large bowl with a wooden spoon. And then to your beef, add milk, Worcestershire sauce, and chopped fresh sage. Then add some salt, some dry mustard, fresh cracked pepper, some fresh chopped garlic, an egg, and chopped onions. Fresh breadcrumbs will help to retain moisture in the meatloaf. Tear a few slices of bread into very small pieces. Mix your ingredients until everything is very well combined. Just be careful not to overmix. Spoon and spread the meat mixture into the loaf pan. You can use a rubber spatula to smooth out the top and sides. That'll make a nice uniform loaf. Then spread ketchup over the top. I've heated the oven to 350. Place an oven proof meat thermometer into the center of the loaf. Bake one hour to one hour 15 minutes or until the thermometer reads 160 degrees. At this temperature, there should be no pink in the center. Let it stand five to 10 minutes and then lift it from the pan. Here's our moist and flavorful meatloaf, ready to serve. For a new twist on this classic recipe, try cheesy stuffed meatloaf from the new edition of the Betty Crocker Cookbook. This new recipe is made with ground turkey and Italian sausage with the cheesy filling that is simply delicious.